come together, come together, follow me, follow me. We are having circle, we are having circle, come and see, come and see. Happy New Year, boys and girls. It's a brand new year. It's 20. 21. Did you have fun during the holidays with your families? Well, we're in a brand new year and we're right, we're ready to do some more learning. Today we're going to talk about the season called winter and we're going to learn about the letter I. But before we do that, let's do our calendar. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Today we are going to talk about the word Tuesday. Tuesday is day number one, two, three in our week. Let's look at the word Tuesday. The last time we saw the word Tuesday, we learned that it begins with the T, that makes a T sound. So let's look at these two letters now. Both these letters are in the group of letters called vowels. The vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. When two vowels are side by side in a word, the first vowel says its own name, and the second vowel says, I'm not here, ignore me. So this you is saying you. Tuesday, Tuesday. Now, if today was Tuesday, we would sing. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, all day long. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, all day long. Maintenant en français, now in French. Il y a, il y a, sept jours dans une semaine. Dimanche, lundi, mardi et mercredi. Jeudi, vendredi. Et samedi, voilà, voilà les jours de la semaine. Now, mardi is day number three, so let's count to three in French. Un, deux, trois. La troisième jour de la semaine. Now, let's look at the word mardi. The last time we looked at the word mardi, we learned that it starts with the letter M that makes the M mm sound. Now let's look at these two letters. These two letters together are a digraph and they make the sound R. Mardi. Mardi. If you wanted to tell somebody in French that today is Tuesday, you would say, Aujourd'hui, c'est mardi. Très bien. Now let's look at the months of the year. January, February, March and April, May, June, July and August, September, October, November and December. There are 12 months in a year. And like we mentioned before, we've just started a new year. And so the very first month of the year is January. How is the weather? Is it sunny? How is the weather? Is it raining? How is the weather? Is it snowing? How's the weather where you live? Well, where I live, there's snow outside and it's chilly. So we know that we are in the month of January, the very first month of the year. And the month January is one of the months in the season called winter. Now, is winter 
hot or cold? You're right, winter is cold. Now what can we do in winter? There's so many fun things that you can do in winter. You can go skating, you can go tobogganing, you can go snow snowshoeing, you can go, you can build a snowman, you can build a fort and throw snowballs at your friends. There's so many fun things to do in winter. Now, if we wanted to go outside and play during winter, would we go outside in sandals and shorts and a t-shirt? You're right, we wouldn't. We have to dress for winter. Now, how do we dress for winter and what do we put on? So let's pretend we're going outside to play. What's the first thing we're going to put on? A coat? You're right. Let's put on our coat. Uh, we've got a coat. Some coats have zips and some coats have buttons. So we do it all up. What do we put on next? Boots. We have to put on boots so our feet stay nice and dry and warm. Now what do we put on next? A scarf. We need to keep our necks nice and warm. Hmm, what next? Oh, we need a toque. Keep our heads nice and warm. Hmm, now if we want to play in the snow, mix snowballs, what do we need on our hands? Mittens to keep our hands nice and warm. Now we're all ready to go outside to play and have some fun. Now, have you ever been in a blizzard? A blizzard is when there's a lot of snow coming down and it's very windy. It's hard to see where you're going. I have a story and it's called Blizzard. Now, this story, Blizzard, is written by Carol Gerber and it's illustrated by, when they say illustrated, it means that they drew the pictures. It's illustrated by Marty Husted. So let's listen to the story called Blizzard. Outside, the ground is cold and white. Inside, my home is warm and bright. Outside, a snowstorm swirls and blows. Inside, the fireplace toasts my toes. Outside, the snow is piling up. Inside, hot cocoa fills my cup. Outside, the snow surrounds a tree. Inside, a soft quilt covers me. That's so nice and cozy. Outside, white drifts are everywhere. Inside, I snuggle in a chair. Outside, the wind slows, then grows still. Inside, I climb up on the sill. Outside, I see it's gray and white. A snowy blanket wraps the night. Stars gleam bright in a vast dark sky. The moon's round face drifts slowly by. Inside, I rinse my cocoa cup. I take my quilt and fold it up. This is a very responsible little boy. Then I put on my winter boots, my scarf, my mittens, my snowsuit. Outside, I lean back toward the snow, stretch out my arms and down I go. I flap my arms, jump up and then admire my silent snowy friend. He made a snow angel. Inside I change and wrap up tight. Outside my angel sleeps. Good night. Let's 
story makes me feel nice and cozy. Are you ready to sing our snow song? All right. Il neige, il neige, il neige. Il neige dans la rue. Il neige, il neige, il neige. Monsieur l'hiver, bonjour. That's how we say winter in French, hiver. Are you ready to see what Detective Dave is up to? Let's see what Detective Dave is up to. Now, as I mentioned before, we're going to be talking about one of the vowels today. The vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. Now, the vowel we're going to be talking about today is I. And vowels, they say their own name sometimes, and sometimes they make another sound. So sometimes the vowel I will say I like in the word icy, and sometimes it will say I like in the word ink. So let's listen to our story now. It is a rule in the Fun family that nobody plays in dad's office. One icy cold day, when there was nothing very interesting to do, the children decided to play hide and go seek. Jen closed her eyes and counted while Sue climbed inside the toy box. Dave went into dad's office with Dot, his impish dog, and closed the door behind him. Dave watched Jen pass the door of the office and then made a dash to get home free. Immediately, Dot leaped over the desk to follow Dave. Unfortunately, he knocked over an ink bottle, making two inky blobs on Dad's desk. Dave rushed into the kitchen to find something to clean up the ink. Just then, Dad walked into his office. Seeing the ink blobs on his desk, he exclaimed, Eee! Dave knew he was in trouble and said he was very sorry. As they worked together to clean up the mess, Detective Dave noticed something interesting. The spilt ink looks like the letter I, he said. Let's take a look. The spilt ink looks like the letter I. Hmm, he's correct. And Dad made the sound of the letter I when he saw the inky mess. Dad said, I. Ink on the desk says, I, I, I. Now, as we mentioned before, I is a vowel. And sometimes I, I says its own name, it, like in the word I see. And sometimes it says another sound like in the word ink. So let's look at the picture. Let's see if we can find its sounds in the picture. So we have the ink blobs and the ink in the jar. They say it. We have an igloo. A picture of an igloo on the wall says it. And Dave is dressed like an Indian chief. It. And I think we've got it all. Not very many it's on this page. All right, so we've had a very long vacation. So now we have to review our sounds. Apple on the tree says ah, ah, ah. Bobby with his back says b, b, b. Curly headed Colin says k, k, k. Drummer Dave says d, d, d. Egg in a cup says eh, eh. Fiona's funny feather says <laughs> Gobbling goose says <laughs> Harry Humphrey says Sorry, Gobbling goose says G, G, G Harry Humphrey says <laughs> And now Ink on the desk says I, I, I. Yes, we have to be very careful When we say the sounds Because we can say the wrong sound Alright, are we ready to sing? All right. A says ah, A says ah, apple on the 
tree says ah ah ah. B says b. B says b. Bobby with his back says b b b. C says k. C says k. Curly headed Colin says k k k. D says d. D says d. Drummer Dave says d d d. E says e. E says e. Egg in a cup says e e e. F says f. F says f. Fiona's funny feather says G says g. G says g. Gobbling goose says g g g. H says h. H says h. Harry Humphrey says h h h. I says i. I says i. Ink on the desk says i i i. And that's where we'll stop today. All right. Next week we'll do another sound. And mums and dads, if you want. To get more information about the fun family phonics system, you could go to the website www.funfamilyphonics.com and get more information there. And moms and dads, if you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And boys and girls, we've had so much fun today learning about the winter season and the letter I, but it's time for us to say goodbye. See you later, alligator, in a while, crocodile, give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you later, boys and girls. Have fun in the snow. Bye.